Okay, I'm here. I'm at Hobby Lobby. There she be, unescorted. So here's my challenge and my accountability here is that I will only come out with what I intended to go in for. I came in here, I'm coming here to get knobs, six of them, and two feet of ribbon. So there'll be many other temptations, but um, I wanna see if I can go in there and just really get what I need. But I am gonna have one little loophole if I see some things for like table settings on some really great price, like, um, you know, chargers for under my plates or just something that makes the eating experience um, aesthetically pleasing and enjoyable, I might come away with something like that. But what I don't want to do is come out with a whole bunch of stuff. I don't want to do that. And it's so hard. But, um, you know, I, I mean, we're going to see what happens. I'm going to show some self-control and it's like an addict. I've got to work this slowly. Um, that's why I'm allowing myself maybe an extra item to buy. Although I'm not really an addict. I mean, I, I, I um, live like 30 minutes from Hobby Lobby. So it's not like I'm here all the time. But when I am here, hmm, it's, um, it's like going to Disneyland. All right. Here I go. I'm heading straight for the knobs. I'm not looking to the right, I'm not looking to the left. I'm not looking up, I'm not looking down. I'm going straight for the knobs. But I forgot where the knobs are. Meanwhile, I'm passing all kinds of wonderful things. Knobs, where are you? Come on, I've always seen wonderful knobs here. And now that I need them, I can't find them, but I do need ribbon. Keep going, don't stop. Look at all the fun stuff. Knobs, okay. There's just so many like fun stuff, so much fun stuff here. And my house is already decorated, but I come across so many lovely things to decorate with. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off because I gotta find those knobs. I have found the knobs. I think I found the knob styles for my cabinet. I like these two together. Very cute. But let me just tell you again, the variety of knobs is just incredible. Look at that. I love that. And it's only $4 and it's 50% off. I mean, there's just so much good stuff here in the way of knobs. And I am not joking. I am going to go home and try to figure out what else I can put a knob on because this is just great. Um, just so much fun. Look, you can even have a disco ball if you are so inclined. I mean, the variety is just impressive. And I mean, really, what else can I put knobs on in my house? I'm gonna have to figure this out because there's just too much good stuff. There's crazy stuff too. Wow. Okay. All right. I think I have my knobs. Ribbons and trim, 40% off. All right, let's find it. Now, if I needed a candle holder, I'd buy this in a in a quick second and it's on sale it's not cool I just have a thing for glass Ugh, I'm putting it back everything in this store keeps screaming my name but I'm not listening this is just up my alley and it's going back look at this great pre-made wedding boutonniere, a groom's boutonniere. I just love this. But my wedding was 33 years ago, so it's too late. Now, do I need another chair? 
I always like these see-through chairs. They're odd, but something about them is just so not there. Nope, I'm walking away. Excuse me. Yes. Yes. Hi. I'm just wondering, do you offer like Hobby Lobby addiction courses or some type of Hobby Lobby therapy for people who just can't control themselves in your store? Uh, no, we don't. Oh, darn. Maybe you should consider doing it. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Well, look at that. Well, now that would be a fun thing to have. Hmm. I'm not sure exactly what I do with it. Well, you know, I could do the outfit of the day on that or something. I could dress her up for holidays. I don't know. Huh. You never know what you're going to find at Hobby Lobby. Yes, here I am in the mirror section of Hobby Lobby just to tell you there's so many cute mirrors. There's just so many to choose from. Hmm. Goodness, where do I need a mirror? I just don't know. So fun. Isn't that cute? A simple hi at your door front. Oh, yes. I was tempted to buy this just because it's so quick. Hi. But I'm putting it back. Hobby Lobby has such a fun variety of wall hangings. See that right there? Huh, I have that. I have it hanging in my bathroom. It always like makes me smile when I see something at Hobby Lobby and I think, oh, I have that in my house. Oh, it just goes on forever. Well, I don't like primary colors, but look at how adorable these are. Look at that pencil chair and look at the bottom of the leg of the table and the chair, They're the pencil eraser. Oh my goodness. It's just, oh, look at that one. It's a little stand for coats or hats or things. Maybe my classroom? No, walk away. Well, I'm not even a farm girl, but now I want to be one. So back in the day, I would theme some of the rooms in my house. Well, especially my two little boys back in the way long ago day. And, but you couldn't find, find things that were themed. And I would have to search far and wide. And it was only through catalogs that you might find a rare specimen that would be so cute in your themed room. And so you had to be really creative. Well, this is like theme central and it would have been so easy for me to have um, created these rooms for my little boys. <laughs> but now there's no need for me to do that. I did buy this for my husband though, for Christmas, because he loves Godzilla. Oh no, I found my husband's in my section. Oh, take a hike. Oh, if I had nothing on my walls, I might buy that, just because it's us. But I am putting it back. I'm loving, loving this themed section here. You have those uh, cassette tapes. But also, man, this makes me wish I had a theater room. I don't even like to watch movies, but I, I want this decor. Look at this. Now, my husband and I, can you tell it has that neat ventricular thing? Um, we have popcorn every night. Oh, almost every night. And just look at that cuteness. But I'm putting it back because... We don't have a movie room. Oh, and look, this is right up my alley, but I'm not gonna get it. And you can even get hair doodads here. Look at these. 
Wow, that's neat, like you're walking with China clips in your hair. And of course, these oh, colors are so on trend, um, and I like them. Oh, look at these. Oh, that's a fun shape. But do I have hair doodads? I don't even have long hair. Oh, wow, look at, that's fun. Okay, walk away. Now, where are you going to go shopping? Where you find a wall of eyeballs. Googly eyes of every size and shape. Oh, every time I'm in here, I just feel like taking up a new hobby. Hence the name, Hobby Lobby. I don't know. Look at little containers for everything. Hmm, look at all the paintbrushes. Look at all the paints. Maybe I'll take up painting. This store inspires me. All right, I'm out of the store. Did I pass the test? Um, did I control myself and come out with only the items I intended to buy when I went in? Uh, no, I failed. I failed. I failed miserably. But I have some reasons why I'm, I'm um, justifying this. That's another bad place to be. But um, I'll show you what I got because I like the stuff I got. I'm back and I'm ready to show you what I brought home. Basically, I'm showing you how I failed. But... Um, there's a few reasons for it, and I feel that it's fair for me to be allowed to express those reasons to you all. Okay, first of all, I went in there to get knobs, and I got them. As you saw in my video, their, their knob selection was exquisite, and I found some knobs. But I told you there was something else I had to get there, and it was ribbon, and I got it plain old boring white gross grain ribbon. I got it. But the problem is when I went down the ribbon aisle, I remembered that I needed more of this stuff, which is called twine or twine. Just kind of an everyday thing I always have at my house. So I don't count this as a, a failure because, oh, I needed to replenish my supply. So I got that. Don't feel guilty about that one iota. Okay, the other thing I said is when I went in, I would allow myself to get something for the table, table settings, especially if it was on sale. Well, ta-da, chargers. Chargers for my table settings at $1.99 each. So I got them because I use them. I just, I, that was okay. All right, if I had stopped there, it would have been, um, a pass. It would have been a success, but I didn't. And some of it, I still don't feel bad about. Let me show you what I don't feel bad about. Candles. I don't feel bad about candles because I don't, I'm not able to get candles just everywhere where I, I live. I don't know what, <laughs> what's wrong with where I live. But anyway, when I find candles, I get excited because I can't just get them everywhere where I live. And this was ex especially exciting because they're little and I have these little votive holders for candlesticks that are this size and it's hard to find them. So when I saw these, I went, ah, okay. I don't feel one bit bad about this, All right? And candlelight is a necessity. We need to see in the dark. All right. And then I picked up though these, um, and when I got in the car, I realized it was broken. <laughs> but I'll, I'll figure that out. Anyway, I got candles because, you know, March is St. Patrick's Day. Which leads me to my next um, uh, um, justification. It's this. I forgot to allow myself, when I went in, the permission to pick up a few holiday things. Now, I'm not talking about Christmas. I like to decorate for all the holidays. So, you know, it's that Valentine's, St. Patrick's Day time coming up. So when I saw those green candles, okay, my St. Patrick's Day meal, well, guess what? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Then I saw this cute little flag. 
and went, oh, that looks so cute. Okay, and you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was, oh, it was like 50% off. Okay, of $3. All right, so then, um, oh, I should go back to the other holiday stuff, but let's just stick on the green stuff. And then I saw this, fake grass. And it doesn't appear to be off gassing, as they say. It doesn't even have a bad aroma. Um, fun stuff can be had with this on my tablescape, as they call it. So just for springtime, just, um, I don't know, I'm going to have fun with it. This, I feel guilty about. All right. Um, back to the holiday stuff. So if I had been allowed holiday stuff, here's what I did get. And I don't feel guilty. I bought this as a gift. That was the other thing. Gifts are allowed. So if I had found gifts for someone, that's allowed. This is a gift for my mother-in-law. She doesn't watch my YouTube channel, so it's okay. I'm showing it to you. It's a gift and it was half off. Okay, but I did pick up a couple other Valentine's Day things. So I like this table runner because I like a tablescape. So it's a table runner. And then I picked up a couple outdoor flags that are kind of like old lady-like, you know, but I'm kind of getting older. Yeah, but they make the outside cheery. So happy Valentine's Day blowing in the breeze. I bought these. Uh, they were 50% off. But it's so, okay. So I am justifying them because they're under the holiday uh, celebration. So the stuff I just showed you for St. Patrick's Day, anything green, um, and Valentine's Day, I don't feel bad about it. Now, a couple, I do feel bad about this. This didn't need to happen, but I know it's going to be fun. And then these didn't need to happen, <laughs> but I just couldn't resist. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I say I don't know what they are. I do know what they are. They can be whatever you want them to be. And they were just so something. And they were a um, $1.50 each. So these are going to go somewhere at some point in time when I feel inspired to place them. I feel this guilty about these, only this guilty. And then I bought this. I have air plants in my house, quite a few of them. And what I find is real air plants look fake and fake air plants look real. I mean, they're interchangeable. They make them so well now that you really can't tell. In fact, I have even once accidentally tried to water my fake air plant. So, I needed another one for a little container. So I bought this. And do I feel guilty about this? No, because plants are kind of a necessity, even if they're fake. Okay, so semi bad about that, that bad about that. This one I feel bad about, $4. I don't think it was on sale, but um, place card holders. So these, I don't know what caught my eye because I won't necessarily use them for place cards, but they can be used for anything. I have vintage postcards. I have little photos. I might put them out random whenever. So I don't think I've left anything out. Boy, it sure felt like I took home a lot more than I just shared with you. I'm not holding back. I think this is it. So with everything that was purchased, and believe me, as you saw in the video, there were plenty of things I walked away from. Um, I guess these are the two, um, like if I had to take from everything I bought and take it back, you know, that wasn't on my to buy list, I, I would take these two things back. But I'm not going to. Shh. I don't. Shh. So um, that's my story. And um, oh, one last important thing. This is really important. I think I mentioned already, or maybe not, that I live about 30 minutes from a Hobby Lobby. So this is not an everyday drug for me. This is like a pilgrimage. And uh, I might go to a Hobby Lobby, no kidding, maybe twice a year. So this is the first time in 2024. I got one more time. So when I go there, it's like, the old proverbial kid in a candy store. So I just need to put that out there that it's not as if I'm into Hobby Lobby, you know, once a week or something like that. It's rare. And I don't go online to shop at Hobby Lobby because part of the thrill is walking through the store itself. So um, I failed. 
And next time I go, will I take someone with me if I can find someone? Um, maybe, maybe not. Uh, certainly won't be my husband because he does not appreciate Hobby Lobby to the full extent that I do or even to any extent. So anyway, um, that's my Hobby Lobby story. And I'm going to go have fun with my Hobby stuff. Hobby Stobby stuff. I'm going to go put my beautiful knobs that I originally went there for on my cabinet. Okay. Bye.